Andy, I finished the 20 of the energy calculation of Dallas Medical Project you had given me last week. Great. Do you need me to sign a CLE engineering report? Well, actually, based on my calculations, the project does not meet the energy code requirements in the couple of areas. I've highlighted on the document the three violations of the codes for you to review and determine the necessary changes need to be made to make the project code complete, compliant. Okay. Well, I'll review all the calculations tonight and discuss how we're going to proceed tomorrow. Thanks for performing all of these tedious calculations for me. Morning, Drew. I was really busy last night. I was only able to review the calculations for the three code violations. Those calculations are correct, and I'm assuming the rest of the calculations are fine, too. I have to agree with you that the project does not meet the requirements for these three sections. So how are we going to meet the requirements? All, this, all three of these uh, issues are, will require a large amount of redesign following by more calculations, which hopefully will pass the code. Unfortunately, we don't have the time for a redesign with new calculations. Instead, I think there are a few numbers in the calculations that we could just alter enough to get the results to pass the code minimum. Besides, the code officials will only look at the results, and as long as the results show the project meets code minimum, we'll be okay. But what if the code officials compare the drawings and the calculations and uh, notice the numbers are uh, different? Well, I've been doing this long enough to know the code officials are only going to be looking at the results. So alter the numbers in the calculations enough so that all of the minimums are met and have the documents to me this afternoon. I will sign, sign and seal the documents and send them out the door. But just altering the numbers will falsely the energy usage expectant of the building. So therefore we are not providing the owner with a properly designed system and it will result in much higher operating expenses. Isn't that duty to provide the most effective and efficient System? Yes, but time just isn't on our side. Besides, the higher operating expenses won't impact the owner that much. Trust me. It just doesn't seem right.